Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? So is there such a thing as a for sure bet when it comes to stock market? What happens if you had access to insider trading information? Would you use it to your benefit to grow your stock portfolio? Let's get into this and see what kind of a scallywag you really are, shall we? <laughs> Before we get started, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Miles Franklin. The link will be down below in the description. When you make your purchase, make sure you use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and they'll take care of you. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us over here at this phone number or over here at this particular email. For all orders over $10,000, reach out by email and we'll make sure that you get a great deal. So come on over to Miles Franklin and add to your precious metal inventory. Speaking of Miles Franklin, two of my listeners combined, combined bought 57 ounces of gold. Good lord. Good job, you guys. Like I said, it's a smart move. It's a good way to protect yourself. So as I was saying, if you found a way to get some insider information to help you with your stock portfolio, wouldn't you take advantage of it? Having insider information is illegal, but what happens if there was a legal way to do it? Wouldn't you jump all over it? First things first, Bitcoin above 70000 all over again, sitting at $70,276. Ethereum at $3,611. Solana is at $190. Is XRP finally moving? It looks like it. It's up to 64 cents. Dogecoin up to 17 cents. Cardano up to 66 cents. Oh, look out now. Shiba, 4029. Polkadot at $9.08 cents. Chainlink at $19.61 cents. Polygon at $1.05 cents. Litecoin at $90.78 cents. Not a lot of movement on Litecoin recently. Hmm. Terra Luna Classic, 302. Uh oh, look out, Terra Luna. Moving on up. Oh, look who decided to rebound. Yep, Sata Chain added a zero, but now has removed it. Two zeros, one six. Gold at $2,173.90 an ounce. Silver at $24.84 an ounce. Real quick, let's look at my spreadsheet, see how I'm doing. Last week, I kind of took a little bit of a hit. I finally got rid of the Invictus and moved that money over into SMCI, Super Microcomputer Inc., with good reason. I added a couple. I put St. George Eco Mining, which is lithium. And then I added, yep, I could resist. There's a good reason why I feel this is gonna do good. There might be some downside to digital world acquisition for a little bit, but as people start to really feel like they're moving in Trump's direction, this could lead to bigger things in my opinion. So right now would be a good time to invest in the digital world acquisitions and then kind of sit on it and see where it goes from there. So those are the two new ones I added. Where am I at with Bitcoin? Right now, after you take away all the initial investment, I'm at $9,250 in profit. Look at Ethereum. I told you, whenever it comes to growth, Bitcoin might be the bigger coin, but we're talking about growth percentage-wise. You can see right here what I'm talking about. Ethereum, I have $11,811.23 pure profit. Bray was doing good, and then there was some kind of weird bad news, but it's starting to rebound. Right now, I'm at negative $931.60. It is cooling off from where it was. Honeywell, I'm up $772.90. Navita, I'm up $10,234.72. Drexion, I'm up $640.89. First Majestic, I'm up $1,060.29. Oh, look at this one, the biggie. Intelligent Bio Solutions. I told you about this one. It was $0.60. Cents. It is now up to $4.25. I have a profit of $60,833. And we have SRM Entertainment. I'm up $4,385. Vertex. I'm up $1,119.73. Occidental Petroleum. Up $585.44. Here's Vera. Vera Therapeutics is kicking boo-boo. Seriously. When we first bought it, it was $10.23 a share. It is now up to $41.18. Right now, I'm sitting on a profit of $30,254.15. Rumble, I got a profit of $6,839.73. 
Netflix, I'm up $4,460.60. And here's the other good one I was just talking about. Was it last week or the week before? SMCI, Super Micro Computer. When we bought into it, it was $266.29 a share. Today, it is at $1,042.79. Right now, I got a profit of $45,359.92. So far, so good. The triple Q down here, there's no love from that one, man. It just is terrible. So right now, I put out, my investment amount was $190,474. So after you take out that initial investment, I'm sitting on a profit of $186,661.82. Looking at gold and silver, on gold, I'm up $1,065.49. Silver, I'm up $889.18. Remember, these are to preserve your wealth. So I don't have no problem with where I'm at with that. So SATA chain, what is it? It is at uh, point zero zero one six. Like I said, it moved up. So far, looking good. All right, this is what I was talking about. What happens if you can legally get information about the stock market or how about just stock in general? What do they call it? Insider trading? But what happens if you can do it legally? I love this little article. I love this little app. You have traders have invested $55 million using an app that helps them copy congressional stock portfolios. Now, I want you to think about this. Are members of Congress going to do anything to hurt their own investments? Nope. That's why it's good for you to clone their portfolios. Because there's no way in hell they're going to shoot themselves in the foot, go into Congress, and vote on something that's going to cause damage to the stocks that they hold. If anything, they're gonna pass laws to help benefit a lot of these companies. That's why it's such a conflict of interest. Despite white public support against the practice, members of Congress invest in the stock market. People have invested at least 55 million in two years, mimicking members of Congress portfolios. Nancy Pelosi's reported trades increased 45% in value in 2023. Crenshaw's increased the value of 41%. An app allowing its users to trade like members of Congress and leading investors just broke $100 million in total investments. Despite its success, the app's co-founders adamantly say they hope it leads Congress to ban themselves from trading. Yeah, right. Released in January 2023, Autopilot, that's the name of the app, you guys. I'll show you here in just a moment. Autopilot pulls trading data filed by members of Congress and allows users to copy their trades. Since the passage of the Stop Trading on Congressional Knowledge Act of 2012, members of Congress are required to report each of their and their immediate family's investment within 45 days or face financial penalties. The app also allows its users to mimic investments made by prominent hedge fund managers like Michael Berry, the subject of the 2015 movie The Big Short via federally required 13F filings. Chris Josephs, the co-founder of the platform who runs the popular Nancy Pelosi stock ticker on X. This is what it looks like when you go to X. Interesting little tidbits in here as you go down and you read them. If you have Twitter, I recommend you come check this out. To a business insider, the app to breeze past the 100 million trading milestone on Monday. With more than 55 million copied from trades that copied congressionally filed ones, the app doesn't allow its users to mimic every member of Congress. Instead, it provides four legislators to copy. Nancy Pelosi, Crenshaw, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and Representative Dan Goldman. Plus an amalgam of stocks from the top 10 politician traders based on their 2022 performance. Joseph said the portfolios of Crenshaw and Pelosi which the congresswoman has said are made by her husband, Paul Pelosi, are the two most popular to mirror. Yeah, of course they are. But uh, just so you guys are aware, it is Dan Goodman outperformed them all. Statistics within the app show that Pelosi reported trades increased 45% in the value of 2023. So whatever you invested in, if you mimicked her account, you got a 45% increase in your investment. If you mimic hers exactly, Crenshaw's had a 41% increase. As for comment on the matter, the spokesperson for Crenshaw's office told Business Insider their boss is not a millionaire and barely has anything invested in the market, but seems to be doing pretty well. Representatives for Pelosi's office declined Business Insider's request for a comment. I'd be like, man, shut up. Look, if they're going to cheat, we should be able to copy them and get benefits from this as well. So for those of you out there going, man, if you had a sure bet, you would bet on it in a stock market. 
Just remember, there's some lag time between what the portfolios are showing for politicians versus by the time you actually get the information. It's a slight lag time, but apparently people are doing very well by mimicking these portfolios. So like I said, if you had an edge or some way to get a little bit of a boost to help you with the decision making that would help increase your portfolio, then you would take advantage of it. Why not? At the end of 2021, Pelosi, then Speaker of the House, said that she was against banning members of Congress and their family from trading stocks, leading to a massive public outcry and her to flip her position on the matter. Several members of Congress, both Republican and Democrats, tried to ban the practice in 2022 to no avail. Why would you want to shoot yourself in the foot? I mean, come on, with the salary that they make every year, how come all these people go in poor but come out multimillionaires? So you're going to tell them not to make millions of dollars while they're serving? It's not going to happen. Next congressional session in 2023, a group of Democratic senators introduced a similar bill, though it remained stuck in committee. That's why we're doing this. Joseph, the autopilot spokesman, said, honestly, it's partly to continue holding their feet to the fire. We're not going away. Donald Sherman, deputy director of the Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, said he thinks the app is a clever idea. He's not surprised to hear that many legislators have trading portfolios that are more successful than the average investor. And that's because they have insider information. If I take the most generous perspective, their entire job lends itself to the kind of careful study of market trends, economic factors, and experience with what moves the market that I think most traders need and would envy, he said. As Autopilot Joseph has put it, if you can't beat them, join them. And I agree. This is Autopilot. This is the app you can download and you can learn. I would recommend you learn this very well. Master this little app. If you, or unless you know somebody who's using it that could teach you. Because you don't want to start investing in the crap you really can't afford. Use discretionary funds. If you start becoming successful and you start to make a lot of money, don't be afraid from time to time to pull out your profits and put it into gold and silver. And when you do, go to our friends over there at Miles Franklin in town Pimpy sent you. Anyways, that's it for now. I look forward to your comments. What do you think? If you had some insider information that helps boost your stock portfolio, wouldn't you take advantage of it? Well, now you can. Anyways, leave a comment down below and I'll get back at you later. I'm out.